Okay. I'm Dennis Delaney, I'm Extension Specialist for Soybeans, Conservation Cropping Systems, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the importance of soil temperatures for soybean planting. Um, important to note that soybeans have a, a pretty wide uh, genetic uh, base to them. Originally, they were wild roviny plants from a pretty large area of Asia. Uh, from north to south, still a wide variation in adaptation uh, to soybeans. We'll grow them all the way from, from south Florida on up uh, well into Canada uh, using different maturity groups uh, of, of soybeans. They're temperature sensitive. The optimum temperature for soybeans is, is about 55 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can say uh, DD 55 as far as uh, temperatures that, that will help it to grow. Uh, but most soybeans can still germinate down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit just very, very slowly. Uh, it can take two to three weeks for them to emerge uh, versus uh, 45 days if you wait till later in the season when uh, temperatures are a lot more ideal. Uh, some cold region varieties do tolerate cooler temperatures, but, but normally the ones we have down south uh, won't really take it much below 50 degrees. Uh, and of course, like most crops, we want to get them out of the ground growing just as quickly as we can uh, to avoid some of the other uh, problems that, uh, that pop up. Uh, soybean emergence, uh, we would call that the DE stage, or when water absorption from the soil is about 50% of the seed weight. Uh, the cotyledons will expand, start to unfold and, and arch up towards the surface, the picture on the right. Uh, the radical, or, or what will become the root, pushes down. Normally, it takes five to ten days to emerge. Again, that's really uh, soil temperature dependent. Uh, with cool soil temperatures and, and a good seed fungicide uh, that helps protect the seed, I have seen emergence take up to three weeks uh, to come out of the ground when soybeans are planted real early in the season, such as uh, late March, early April. But in that time, they can encounter a whole lot of hazards like uh, soil crusting, packing rain, soil insects, diseases. Again, they're just, just sitting there, barely growing, susceptible to a lot of problems. Uh, in that first stage, uh, we call it inhibition, uh, where it starts taking up that soil moisture, the membranes of the sodium seed actually chemically change to allow water uptake. Uh, usually that's within the first 24 hours after they're planted, as long as there's sufficient soil moisture there. Um, as they start changing from the from seed phase to, to germinating and, and the cotyledons starting to move out, uh, those membranes uh, become real leaky uh, to water and nutrients that can go back and forth. Uh, again, they're not set, they're, they're in the process of changing. And especially with cold temperatures, 40 to 50 degrees, uh, that can happen quite a bit. Uh, they just don't have time to get set uh, to, the, to the new stage, to the germination stage. Uh, the membranes can be permanently damaged while diseases start to take advantage of these nutrients that are leaking out. Uh, I know with some of the seed, I've heard pig called, you know, the, the cotton, um, the same problem when it's planted in full temperatures, almost like brain damage to the, to the seedling, where it just never does quite recover from it. It's, it's, it's a permanent slowdown. Uh, the soybean plant is trying to make sure it survives rather than necessarily grow uh, like it should. If this chilling happens after 24 hours, Membranes are a lot less effective because they're in their new phase or locked into the, to the new arrangement. But seeding growth is still slowed down quite a bit. But again, that first 24 hours is real critical uh, to, to germination. Uh, if these low soil temperatures continue, that slow growth allows pathogens to keep attacking the food reserves that are in the cotyledon uh, before photosynthesis begins. So that's, that's going to stunt the plants. Uh, also, if you happen to have a, a freezing temperatures after planting, you have to remember the growing point of soybeans is above ground. So if that bud is, is frozen, the cotyledons are frozen, it, it can kill the entire plant and uh, you lose your stand. 
Uh, so recommendations are to wait until soil temperatures are at least 55 degrees at two inches in the morning. In the morning is going to be your, your minimum temperature uh, to help rapid germination. Uh, no, very little growth advantage from gain by planting before then. Uh, it may grow very slightly with pathogens and, and insects and so on. I'm going to have a lot of chance to go ahead and attack it. Also, don't plant right before a cold front or if a cold rain is forecast within the next 24 hours. And that, that first 24 hours is a real critical period. And also, if you are planting earlier or in cool soil, getting close to that 55 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, including no tail, that's, uh, we recommend treating seed with uh, a good fungicide package in order to slow down those pathogens and, and just give the seed a chance to get up out of the ground and start making its own food. Uh, through photosynthesis. Uh, with that, I thank you for your time.